Did you know that leap years don't occur every four years? Wait, what? That's right. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to figure out which years are actually leap years. And the answer is going to be quite surprising and different than what you might expect. Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm Prof Omar. And today we're going to ask the question, when does a leap year actually happen? And contrary to most people's belief, it's not every four years. And the reason has to do with how often the Earth spins around the sun. So the common belief is that the Earth spins around the sun every 365 days. But actually, that's not the case. It's a little bit more than this. It turns out that the Earth spins around the sun every 365.2422 days, roughly. And this is going to explain why we have leap years in the first place. So to really understand what's going on here, what I want to do is peel this number of days off into pieces. So we have the 365 days, which we know, and love. And then we have a little bit extra. And what I'm going to do is consider that extra as an extra quarter of a day minus just a little bit. And the thing that's left over is about 0 0.0078 days. So I'm going to write that down here. All right. So let's take account as to what happens in a given year with this division of days. In a particular year, we'll get the 365 days here, and then we'll also get the additional quarter of a day that comes from this extra right here. But then we're gonna lose this ever so tiny fraction of a day. I'm gonna put a minus for that. Now let's look at what happens over the course of four years. We get 365 days again, another quarter of a day, and then another minus for this little bit of a day that's taken away. And over the course of four years, we get this total contribution. So if we look at this, we get our typical year that we're used to. And then we get four quarters of a day extra, giving us an extra one day every four years. And that's our lovely leap year that we know and love. And so we think, oh, then every four years, we're going to get one of these leap years. However, we have this unfortunate situation right here where we actually lose this tiny, tiny fraction of a day every four years. The amount that we lose is four times this quantity right here, which works out to 0 0.0312 days. So every four years, we actually lose this tiny fraction of a day. So if you look over the horizon of 400 years, we lose 100 times this, which is roughly three days. So over the span of 400 years, we need to account for the fact that we actually lose three days. And the way that this is done is by declaring that every 100 years is not a leap year. Okay, but that's a little bit of a problem because then if we declare such a thing, we'll have four extra days that we pick up. So what we do is additionally stipulate that every 400 years, we add back a leap year. So altogether, every 100 years is not a leap year, but every 400 years is then declared to be a leap year. So for example, the year 2100 will not be a leap year. The year 2200 won't be as well, and 2300 won't be, but 2400 will. Okay, but this doesn't really matter in my lifetime. That's not the point. The point is contrary to our belief, it's not every four years that we get this leap year. So now we understand completely how leap years work. Bring this up at a social gathering and surprise them with this interesting fact about leap years that they probably don't know. <laughs> 